Hey guys, this is Jackie Bryan. I have been struggling for weeks now trying to figure out ways that I can support you during this challenging time. The coronavirus is something that we have never seen in our lifetime, and it's incredibly frightening. I'm gonna start by, by sharing with you some ideas that I have that can hopefully support you during this challenging time. Remember what the stewardesses say on the airplane, you gotta put the oxygen mask on yourself first before you put it on others. While so many of us are out there helping other people, we need to do everything we can to support our own health, to make us uh, better prepared to be able to support those that are in need. I know many of you are fully aware of all the things you need to do to keep this virus out of your body. Things like washing your hands for 20 seconds, making sure that you're wiping down your countertops, um, being careful about bringing your purse or things like that into the grocery store. But one thing I want you to think about is your immune system. Um, your immune system is an amazing system in your body. It's responsible for patrolling some 47 trillion cells in the body. And, and one thing that we can do to support the immune system is to not distract it. And you might be wondering, you know, what are some of the things that could distract the immune system? Lack of sleep is one of them a highly processed diet. Sugar has been shown to suppress the immune system for four hours with just one teaspoon of sugar. What we know is that these types of inflammatory foods are distracting our immune system from taking care of those 47 trillion cells. We need our immune system now more than ever to be able to patrol and do what it needs to do. So what I want you to think about the next time you go to the grocery store, I want you to think about your food choices. When you pick up that box off the shelf, I want you to say, ah, has this been something that has been highly tinkered with by man? Can you pronounce the ingredients that are in the labels? What's concerning to me as a healthcare provider, a functional nutritionist and a coach is that I'm going to the grocery store and I am seeing these potato chips gone, the crackers gone. And while they have a longer shelf life, there's a reason for that. They have a longer shelf life because they're highly chemicalized and processed. I want you to do your best to try to choose foods that are in their natural state if you can. If you're afraid of the produce aisle because of possible contamination, then move over to the frozen section if you can and, and try to choose foods that have been frozen that you can bring home and throw in a smoothie or you can cook them up when you get home. Doing your best to not distract your immune system so it can focus on doing the things that it needs to do is gonna serve you well. I'm gonna be posting several videos like this one over the course of the next few weeks. If you'd like, you can like my YouTube channel and you'll be updated on any new videos that you get. I'm here because I care about you. I wanna be here for you and support you. Uh, please reach out to me if I can be of any help. I'm at email me at JackieBryan.com. But the biggest thing and the best thing you can do for yourself is to get rid of those inflammatory foods so that your immune system can focus on the things it needs to do to be able to nourish you, nurture you, and move you in a direction towards better health. Um, please take care of yourself, be safe, and be well.